Hello everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Last episode we finished up chapter 5 and now we're in our little, you know, intermediate time. Uh, you blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought, well, we thought we had the guy cornered, but we had a ghost. Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance, understand? Roger that. Then, you're dismissed. Hey, you there. Are you talking to me again? Oh no, you're talking to one of these guys. <laughs> this game has a habit of breaking the fourth wall. Uh, what is it, sir? Tell the three shadows to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Are yeah, you gonna lose? That called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Oh, he's quiet. Heck, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grot Grotus' room and look for a d data disk. Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has informed has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave this room and take the elevator up, as you did earlier. This doesn't wait to hear the rest of the instructions. Okay. <laughs> okay, well. Elevator. Roller. You will first go to in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and then, yeah, and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. So is that this? Wait, so we're we going this way or no? Not that way. Oh, okay, so this way. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. Ah, this door. Gotcha. 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 Ooh, chemicals. Uh, now I'll have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. Or close to, because that's kind of part of something that you need to take into consideration there. You can make a person transparent, but their clothes not necessarily. Although this is video game logic, so in that case it probably will, but... Yeah. Anyways. Yes. You enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Okay, how do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctinator. Concoctinator? Uh, it is a machine that in the back, but even I do not know which potion is set where. There should be uh, memos left in the room by the x knots researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Okay, um, let's see. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Okay, so red can go in any of the three left ones. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Okay, so the red has to go in either the center ones, I guess. Or no, it can still go in any of them. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Okay, so that means green's on, green is on the end and then red's on the left end. Okay. So with that alone, it should just be red here, blue, yellow, green. I'll still read the note just in case, but I get the feeling that's going to be it. 
what's this one say place the yellow potion between the blue potion and the green potion okay so yeah that's that's how it's done the red blue yellow green are you sure that you're a place you're liking yes yes i do very well then please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room Okay, 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 calm down. Ooh. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Okay. So simple little timing game. <laughs> Nothing too dramatically. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, almost missed it. Hmm. I like these fun little peach mini games that they seem to give to the player every time. Okay, now what? I will heat the mixture. I will heat the mix potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Now please press to begin the heating process. Okay, so I'm gonna look at my time for recording and press it when it's 30 seconds. Or when 30 seconds have passed. Go. So how are you guys today? Drinking enough water? Really warm out lately, so hopefully. Uh, you guys liking the series so far? Not the best series on my channel, but it's doing decent numbers. We're almost at 100 subscribers, which is really cool. That's a pretty bit good accomplishment in my book. The first goal I've had set for this whole channel. <laughs> Only took a few years, but I think we did pretty good. We've been having fun with this channel, so getting to 100 has been a journey, but it's been a fun journey, so I'm glad that we're almost there. At least at the time we're recording, we're almost at 100. I think we're like three people away. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Then, please drink it. All of it. Drink this? Is it safe? Smells funky. Hmm. Down to go it. Okay, so the game was right in what I was assuming, that it turns the person invisible, but not the clothes. Ah. However, it detected a tactical error. The potion was not designed to make the dress invisible as well. See? I knew it. Alright, of course. Oh wait, I should hide my dress so it doesn't get discovered. When you go to Sir Grotus's room, locate the disc with the recorded data, then connect to it to the network. I will explain in further detail when you are in Sir Grotus's room. Once you're finished, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Yeah, it is kind of complicated, but it's necessary, I guess. Okay, here we go. Uh huh? Okay, that was creepy. Why do the doors open even though there's no one here? Malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it? <laughs> okay. I didn't mean to go. I was going to try and talk to him, see if he would say anything to an invisible person. But, uh... Yeah, we can make him go crazy. That's fun. Uh... Yeah, we can make him all go crazy. That's funny. They have no idea we're here. We should avoid you, though. I feel like you're going to be able to have a little bit more of a keen sense. Okay, well, down in this room, let's uh, get that disc. Itchy nose. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Oh, there's one of you things blocking the way. Pushing buttons. No, nothing. <laughs> oh, fishies. This must be Grotus's room. Now, where is that disc? Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Not here. Okay. But here. Ah, we found it. Good. Got a disc. Please insert that disc into the computer in this room and connect to the network. 
All right. Got a disc. <laughs> That's funny. I did it. It's working. Okay, so we should get out of here. I don't know where I am. Something going on? I'm kind of... Oh. It was loading. Okay, I was like... <laughs> I thought it was broken for a second. Uh, it looks like we're all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. There. Like I was never here. Okay, let's go back. All right, back in here. What do we do? Uh, thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Oh, well, I'm glad. Now I'll teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion, you will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, that's pretty easy. Okay, just hang on one moment. There she is. The green potion, right? I wonder what would happen if we drink the other potions. There's never any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. How do I do that without getting spotted? Eh, just gonna tra transport us there, okay. Hey, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I'm still analyzing it. The data is heavily encrypted. But if my predi yeah, prediction is correct... No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decide for the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator, thanks. Tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap. I've written my message. Would you send it? Message has been sent. We're done for now. Go back to your room. Take care. Thank you, Princess Peach. <laughs> Princess Peach, I will protect you. All right, what's Bowser up to now, then? Oh, he's here. <laughs> what? what is this place? Why is this little light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is a twilight town, my lord. One of those stars should be here. Let's put the screws to one of those creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. Oh, well, I mean, that's why you're here. Oh, man. Pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb bomb here. Somewhere around here. This stinks, really. The whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Bam. Got it. I'm the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal star in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> the luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Somebody there, hey. What's the big deal? You looking for the crystal star too? Sweet. This will help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Uh, actually, it's you who's going to spill every bit of your information out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, wait, what am I afraid of? You? If you think you can take me, then try it, soup mix. <laughs> soup mix, that's actually pretty good. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like take talking yet? Koopa Clan, form up. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is gonna be a war. Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh. What a perfect time for one of these babies. Or 
to have one of these babies handy. Sorry, suckers. Eat this turtle dolt. Super bomb bomb. But it's broken. That was it? That was your big weapon? Didn't even go off. <laughs> uh, why would you do that? And they all died. Okay. Finally back to the regular gameplay. <laughs> you. You have distinguished yourself in battle. Excelente, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let's get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is a treasure as all the treasure I need for real. I get the boat moving. <laughs> okay, okay, let us get aboard first. Oh, that is all there is to it then. Am I correct? Uh to see Captain Mario. We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think we can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's the right place to live without any ghosts, eh? Okay. You're gonna do all right here, I think. Yeah, let's break out Gonzalez. Uh, I'm ready to get back to Rogueport. Okay, cast off. God, the game is so beautiful. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end, ah. Uh, the ship sailed smoothly on to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though as it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than the balloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Okay. Rogueport. Show it to me. I thus return, slathered in glory to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, eh? Shut the fuck up. I am gonna hit this guy with so many hammers. Uh, perhaps a uh, chance will bring us all together again someday. <laughs> they hope not. It's necessarily harsh. This is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, huh? Not really. One day you may surpass the great and fabu flap yeah, blah, 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 blah. The fabulous Flavio and the greatness and fabulousness. It's not likely, I assure you. But you should, how you say, shoot for the stars. If you ever should reach out to... Okay, thank you for interrupting him. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you ever get the urge to return the keyhole key, just say the word, sir. Or see. I will send you to the aisle faster than the fastest winds can blow. Yes, yes, you giant skull. You, your time, and the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Shut up. Again, shut up, Flavio. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I will permit you to say hello to me. Okay, he's getting the hammer tenfold. Let's break out of here and head for the door. <laughs> yes, please. Hey, Flavio, get back here. I just need to hammer you into oblivion, sir. Ah, oh, goodness. <laughs> But before we go hammering him down, um, I want to go over here and I'll talk to you, Luigi. This thing, we finally have access to the boat in this area. So what's been hiding around Rogueport? At least the docks in Rogueport. Okay, looks like not much. We can't really go out to sea. Ooh, but we can go over here. What's, uh, what's awaiting us over this way? Okay, so we got a little TV and a treasure chest. HP drain badge. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but regen uh, one HP when attacking. Okay, cool. Anything else, or is that it? Yep. I was trying to jump in the bucket, not over the bucket, but it's whatever. 
Okay. Next thing's next. Okay, first up on our list is Fabio. We have to hit you with a hammer for all of your conceited and very annoying attitudes. Okay, I feel better after doing that. So possibly next up in here, I want to talk to you because we want to... Uh, so which partner would you like me to power up? We want to power up Bombery. Yeah, we have 10 Shine Sprites. I don't think we have any need for that many. We got so many last chapter. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't... We've seen this enough already. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, we don't need to. <laughs> we will return someday whenever we get our last uh, partner, but... Aside from that, we don't really need to level up people. Okay, next place. Do the Thousand Year Door. Oh wait, that's right. Since we're here, we can now do this thing and blow up this thing. So what's been behind here all this time? So what's in your house, buddy? Okay. Kind of a weird room, but okay. Welcome to Chet Rippo's Adjustment House. This is where you come to adjust your stats and your partner's ranks. If you want some adjustment done, talk to me from the other side of the table. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. Yada yada yada, yada yada yada. So who needs some adjustment, hmm? But I don't think we need to do this right now. I'll look this up a little bit more, but I don't really have a reason to do this. So let's just keep on going. Alright, back at the thousand year door. Oh my goodness, we only have two more crystal stars to get after this. It's crazy to think about. Ah, uh, yes, everybody. Let's, uh, let's see where we're going to be going off to next. Ah, oh, this scene is so beautiful. Just look at everybody. It's amazing. Oh, this game is so good. I'm so glad I get the chance to play this. Okay, where are we off to next? Let's see, let's see. Ooh, looks like we're going to be going to the western style place. Interesting. Ooh, the orange crystal star is next. Nice. Location of a crystal star has been recorded on your map. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, let's pop, on, yeah, pop in on that professor fellow. Oh, yeah. What you said, Bobbery. <laughs> Great news, my friends. Now we know where the next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. Okay, how do we get there? Wait a tick. I've heard of that. I've, I've heard tell that only ri the rich and famous call that place home. Yes, yes, and I believe Poshley Heights is also home to a, shine, a, a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. The next crystal star must be hiding inside that shrine. I'm certain of it, fairly certain, most certain. But hey, no fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons this time. Just a simple tourist attraction. <laughs> well, now, you're gonna, now that you say it's going to be something dangerous. Grumpf. Sounds positively scintil. I'm not even going to pronounce it. Dear boy, point us there. That's the best, best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxurious, luxurious sea mentioned excursion, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch. Pardon me for saying so, but mustn't you have a treasury full of riches to ride that train? That may be true, perhaps. You should ask Zon Pinana for help with this one. Ah, no, terribly sorry. Impossible. Can't do it. That man's uh, reprehensible. Oh, trap. I suppose there's nothing for it. Uh, hey, old boy. If we must, we must. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time until the demon resurrects. You must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. Okie dokie. Oh. Uh, boo? 
Are you Mario? Did this email... Did this... Wait, did you get this email? Okay. Huh. Weird. I guess that was kind of like a hint, in case we didn't see that room before, but we did. Uh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. What are you doing out here? When I consulted with uh, my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, you have the empty black chest that cursed you. Well, it's a clue to help you help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately. But I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Oh yeah, there was a thing in um, Hooktail's castle a while back. It was one of um, Bomberly's uh, little things that he can blow up, but we were nowhere close to having him at the time. So it seems that we do have him now, so that'll be good. So I guess we'll be making a stop back there before we go into the next chapter. I also learned that I missed this over here. Speaking of, you know, giant sprites and everything. <laughs> good thing we got that. And uh, what's finally down here? Another new place, another new place. Oh, there's so much exploration now that we have Bomberly, interestingly enough. Um, so what's... Oh yeah, there's this little chest. Hopefully this is going to be something good. I assume it's a badge. Double dip. Let Mario use two items in a row during battle. Oh, cool. Don't really use items too much, even though I complain about them. So... Maybe that'll help me start using them, but who knows. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything hidden here. So next you'll see me, we're gonna be going back to Hooktail's castle for a little. So yeah, all the way in this room. Only took me like eight minutes to get here, so nothing too bad. But um yeah. There was this crack a long time ago with that Barberly can now open up. So what's uh behind you that can help our partners? A blue switch. Any hidden panels or anything? Is this a death trap? Oh, only time will tell. Oh. Okay, it's a chest. You got an up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody super. Okay. Uh, back to Merlin's, I guess. All right, Merlino. What do you know about this thing? What is in your hand? It's an up arrow. What does this have to do with our partners? An up arrow? Yeah, well, what's it all about? An up arrow? Up. Okay, what are you remembering? Oh, okay, he's gone. Yeah, I, I don't know, Mario. Oh, it's a stone. This is the Ultra Stone, so that's what the star sign meant. I picked this up at the flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Oh, okay, cool. Will you do one for free? Since I got that for you. Okay, cool. We are cooking now. Care to power up a partner right this minute? Actually, yes. So all of them just need three again, so I can do three partners right now. So let's uh, take a look. She'll be used, able to use Rally Wink to increase Mario's turns by one. Interesting. Uh, shell Slam to attack all ground enemies. Dodgy Fog to make Mario dodgy. Uh, Stampede to attack all ground enemies. Okay. Infatuate to confuse all enemies. And Bomb Abast to attack all enemies. Hmm. So I think we're going to go with Goombella. As well as Little Fizz. And lastly, Bobbery. I feel like these three have the best potential for what they're being, you know, used for. The others do as well, but we'll get to them when we get to them. I see why they were just pouring on the shine sprites with the last chapter now. But, okay, that's three partners leveled up to their max potential. Well, I assume their max potential. Um, okay, next we need to, we'll continue on our way to the next chapter. Okay, so we're told to check in with Don Pianata next. Also, uh... We see you're on your deathbed, but I just had to highlight the new fit. I got the W badge for Wario's outfit and decided, you know what? Let's uh let's rock it as Wario for a little. Uh Donkey Donna, you're on uh you're on your deathbed. 
Francesca. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What a syndicate to do. That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us left and right. Or right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for you? What? Tickets for the Ritz Ritziest train around? Yes. Uh, you want tickets for that rolling wingding? Yes. Ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, giving, us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If only we could help the boss see his daughter again. You mean those pinatas? Uh, Frankie and Francesca? They were on Keyhole Key. Who's on the what now? What'd you just say? You know where the young Miss Pinata is at? Yeah. Really, no lie. I swear to you, if you lie in, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Oh, yeah. we're, we're serious. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us the young man, Miss Francesca, and we'll ask the boss to do something about your little train situation. Okay, okay. See, now that's better. I know once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, figured we'd rock it as um, Mario for a little bit. Uh, we could also actually, now that I'm remembering it, get that, um, yeah, get this thing out here. Uh, Bomberly, let's just get out here. And give us a boom boom. Thank you, you. Come here, you. Thank you. We're already one third of the way there to our next our piece nice uh to our next um partner upgrade which is going well okay let's go get uh francesca and frankie oh there you two are i was looking all over for you but you weren't in the town okay listen up oh hey there mario what brings you back to us uh your dad he's kind of dead the boss is sick oh poor daddy oh no at a time like this you see, I, I just dropped a wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. What's disappeared between here and that skull rock? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Why don't we forget about the ring and go check on the boss? How could you say that? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it, we have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say that you love me a hundred times. <laughs> it's fine, dude. You can do that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, you two. Is it gonna make us sit through this? Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, now my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. <laughs> we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Yes, yes, we'll help them. So here in the skull rock, okay, let's uh let's go find it. Okay, so I'm guessing this sparkly bush may have the ring. And that it does. <laughs> okay, so at least there's a sign to of where it was gonna be. Okay, back back we go again. Just when you think we're done exploring this island or running back and forth through it, yeah, the game pulls us back in. Okay, you lovebirds, we found your ring. So take it, now go see your dad. Oh, that's my ring. You found it. Yes, go home real quick. Okay, hurry back. We will. We definitely will. <laughs> Don't have forever with this video. Okay, we're back here. Wake up. Open your eyes. Boss. Oh, jeez. If you're not going to wake up, then wake up. Hmm. 
This worked on the bob -omb. Francesca. Daddy. Boss. You came back for me, and you too, Frankie. Of course we did. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two lovebirds. I'm an old man now. I need peace. Oh, Andy's up. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pinata, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. I mean it. I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of Don the Pinata Syndicate. What? You still got it in ya. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean, me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a good feeling about ya. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate. The way I did. Boss. You, Mario. Looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. No, not really. About that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be like a beautiful, I know it. What do you guys do? Uh, well, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd ask you about tickets for the Express, XS Express, if he bought your daughter. Or brought your daughter, not bought. Oh, ho, 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 is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten, help yourself. Just enough. <laughs> okay. You come back anytime you like. How about that? Sounds good. Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, best, best you do that. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Okay. We got lots of work to do, and don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet bean, come on. Back it out for the pet names nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? <laughs> yes. Or Miss Boss. Tee hee hee. Underboss. Or, I mean, boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. Ooh. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Thank you. <laughs> Well, seems like we got our train ticket. We've helped the old boss retire. And seems like we're just about ready to start the next chapter. Got a new outfit and everything as well. We got powered up allies. And we're pretty good. We can go to Polishly Heights now. Yes. The Six Crystal Star is as good as ours. I heard that, my uglies. Wait, what's what's going on now? We were just about to end the episode off and everything. The Six Crystal Star is in Polishly Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Hey, you're that Beldum. We shouldn't get Vivian out here. Normally there would be this would be where I finally deal with you and that sloppy traitor Vivian. But something tells me that trying to go alone might be unwise. So you live for now. Instead, I'll just be at the Poshi Heights and get that crystal star before you do. Whoa, that sounded bad. We gotta get the Poshi Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Rogueport Station. And we'll be doing just that in next next episode. So, if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Punch Fizz, and I'll be punching out now. Bye.